Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm back here today and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be polishing my weld wheels. There's my Camaro right there. The car had the welds on it the other night as you've seen the video or the other day. And I had to put these back on it because they just looked too dingy, I guess you can say. Um, they're right here. They're, uh, they're, I got them used. <clears throat> they were basically brand new when I got them, but they were used. I don't think they were ever clean and they were sitting. So there's a lot of like soot, like deep, deep, like dirt basically and i've polished weld wheels before and they came out pretty good the inside of the barrels are a bit dirty and on the camaros they have these huge brembo brakes i don't know why i said it like that but brembo brakes and they give off a lot of brake dust like good amount of good amount of brake dust and today i have a package also here from jack's wax um i have a 50 percent off code it's uh sin life i'll put it on the screen sin life 2020 for 15 percent off but I have a large care package here. I got a lot scattered everywhere here still, all my microfibers, a lot of my jack wax and my uh, cabinets there. But today I wanna get these cleaned up and I also have ceramic coating for the Camaro and for the welds, but that ceramic coating video is gonna come on another video when that car gets fully paint corrected. But I wanna ceramic coat these wheels so if there's ever any brake dust, I can just easily you know, spray a little bit of wheel cleaner if I have to and rinse them off. But let's get to unboxing this and uh, we'll, Get to that a little bit after. All right, so don't mind the tires are on it. Uh, I got a serious problem with getting tires. But I already opened these up to basically make it easier. They have these new uh, buckets. Buckets at Jack's Wax, they're like labeled. So it's like a rinse bucket. And I believe in there, there's a uh, wash bucket and a um, wheel bucket, so basically a rinse bucket is for like, when you rinse your mitt against these grit guards and then the wash ones obviously you dip it in there and get your soap, <clears throat> but just a bucket in there. Also don't mind these tires right here, I'm not sure if you can see in the camera there's tires right here. They're for my truck and I ordered them and the company I ordered them through sent me the wrong size so I'll wait to ship those back. But here's, here's where everything else is at in this big bucket right here. So my main stuff right here is the Jack's Wax wheel cleaner. Um, I believe you dilute this. Let me read this really quick. Um, I'm not, actually, I guess you don't dilute it, but this is uh, this is really good stuff. You basically spray it on the wheels and it gets most of the brake dust off without you cleaning. And I had to get two gallons of it because my uh, Camaro gives off a lot, a lot of brake dust. So here's the other bucket. See, this is wheels. Just you obviously clean the wheels with it. Um, what is in here? I'll open it up in a second. I also got a, uh, like I said, ceramic coating package right here. So it comes with some foam pads, microfiber towel. There's a, uh, I guess, glass cleaner. Oh, I'm sorry. This is this is not ceramic coating. This is glass cleaner. This is probably ceramic coating. Nope. This is a foam gun. I ordered. I ordered this stuff about a month ago, so I don't really remember exactly what I ordered. This is glass cleaner. Um, I guess this is their new product. You basically put on your windshield. It's like a rain -X, but like 10 times stronger. And it basically beats the water off. You realistically don't need your windshield wipers, but don't let me be the liability to tell you that. So um, I'm gonna probably put this on the Camaro. I don't think I need it for really anything else, but that's that. Um, this right here is just a foam gun. Let me open this up really quick. So this is a foam gun. It's actually the one that attaches to your your basic uh, like hose. So right here is threaded. You just thread it in here, and there's a there's like a hook over here to keep it on. And then obviously this is it's like a, it's like the uh, easy air compressor lines. You just basically you know pop the there's a top bar here. Let me explain this might a little better. There's a top bar here, and you basically pull this back connected in there and then there it's connected and then you can obviously pull this off to release the foam gun and rinse the car off. This is really helpful so when I ceramic coat the car, I'm not gonna really need to, you know, wash it necessarily. I'll just basically foam it off and then rinse it off. So I'm really excited for this. I had one before but I broke it and you know this summer I actually want to clean my cars more often. I kind of last year I kind of you know let my cars uh I guess stay dirty a little bit. I, mean, I didn't get to wash them as clean as I want them to, but this year I'm gonna make sure they're all perfect. Um, 
Let's see what else. I got a Super Citrus all-purpose cleaner. You spray it on your, you know, your inside your fender liners. You spray it on trim. Um, I spray it out sometimes in the interior. This is real. This definitely diluted five to one. So before I knew about it, I didn't dilute this stuff. So I spray it on. I'm like, why is this stuff so foamy, so soapy? You dilute this. So this is 32 fluid ounces. So roughly doing math, it'd be 150 fluid ounces worth of uh, Super Citrus. So we dilute it into another bottle. Also wash and wax, simple, simple washing stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if that's okay to use with ceramic coating. Don't hold me on that. I also got a spraying seal. It's a paint seal and this, this is good to use with ceramic coating. They also came out with these really nice labels. They're almost like, uh, like suede labels. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that from the camera. Let's see what else we got here. Ceramic detailer. This is like a spray wax, but for specifically for ceramic coating. So let's read this a little bit. Uh, you know, detail spray designed to maintain the ceramic coatings. So that's good stuff. I got my wash mitts here for my wheels. They're called wheel woolies. Basically to go inside the barrel and in simple spots like lug nuts and deep areas behind the caliper. Total interior detailer, very simple. Just your whole interior, you spray on anything. Some more uh, soft microfiber towels. This is for when I'm gonna be ceramic coating the car. Metal polish. So this stuff right here, I'm not trying to make this too, video too long, but I wanna explain some of the stuff that Jack's Wax has. They've been really good to me. They're really good people, really cool, down there with guys, products made in the USA. Um, Jared, Todd, and uh, I, I can't remember the, the originator owner, Jared's father's name. I believe it's honestly Jared too, but uh, he, they're really good people and you should really buy from them. They're just, you don't wanna go to, you know, get, go to like AutoZone and get their crap because honestly it's not good stuff. If you want Jack's Wax stuff, it's jackswax.com and my 50% uh, off code is SINLIFE2020. I'll pop on the screen one more time for you guys. But this metal polish stuff is exactly what I'll be using for my weld wheels. I basically just put on a microfiber or a little you know, circle polishing pad and I hand polish it. So after I get them cleaned up, I'm gonna be using this stuff. Last in this, besides the bucket, is super blue. It's like a tire dressing. Super, super, super shiny, uh, doesn't sling. I like to let it sit overnight and then after the morning I'll wipe any excess off and it won't sling. So that's good stuff. The last bucket here is obviously the wash bucket. Like I said, there's rinse, wash, and wheels. Um, I think there's some stuff in here though. Let's see. Oh, so some cool gear. My Jack Flex hat I ordered. So that's sweet. Oh, I might have thrown it on because I just showered, but my sweet Jack Flex hat. And this is what I've been waiting for is a ceramic coating. I think this is all ceramic coating stuff. So in here, it comes with obviously the 9 8 ceramic coating process application. And then you, there's a sticker for the inside of the door you obviously put on when you put this ceramic coating. And hopefully I don't drop this because I have dropped ceramic before and ruined it. This is a 60 milliliter bottle. So this will last probably like four cars and probably four cars and two sets of wheels. Comes with all the little pads that the glass cleaner came with for the glass coating. I'm excited to throw that on the Camaro when I get reflex detailing. Come here and detail the Camaro as you see behind me. Set that there. Let's see what else we got. We got shield prep. So this stuff is like a uh, clay bar, assuming, you know, kind of a clay bar thing. It's like a bug, bug spray basically, but this is specifically for before you ceramic coat a car, you want to clean it off with this. So it's let me, let me read it into a little bit, uh, increases the integrity of the bond that occurs when putting it on. So like I said before it, it's, I guess it gives it like a, you know, like it lets it breathe, I guess. There's no really way to me to explain it, but this stuff is good to apply before you do the ceramic. Keep in mind, all this stuff is here. I have like a huge mess. There's tires here. There's, there's stuff behind the camera there. There's stuff all over my table when we pull the wrap off my GTR. I've been super slammed with work and everything else. I'm trying to do this YouTube over here for you guys. So, you know, keep, give me a little bit of patience. Like this stuff has to be organized. I, my stuff is filled with, you know, clean supplies, but another set of nice, nice, nice microfiber towels with two cleaning mitts here. So that's sweet. Um, here's a foam applicator pad for the tire dressing. Some air fresheners, Jack Flex air fresheners are pretty sweet. And not just one, uh, a bunch of air fresheners. Also a specific brush for, uh, I believe this is for the lug nuts, but this is like a really soft brush. 
So that's sweet. But that's basically all the stuff. Let me get this all cleaned up really quick. I'm gonna fast forward it and I'm gonna get to the wheels and start doing that. Okay, so I had this bottle inside my cabinet. I don't know if it's like a wheel cleaner or all-purpose cleaner, it's one of the two. But the all-purpose cleaner and wheel cleaner will get this dirt out of the barrels easily. I put it in like a random bottle because I literally haven't had any time to do anything. But I'm gonna spray this inside the barrel of the wheels. And yeah, I put the wheels down very softly so they're not scratched. So I'm gonna spray this on the inside of all four wheels and then I'm gonna let it sit and grab some, uh, grab the water and put it in this little bucket and start washing the inside of it first before I start polishing. You can start to see inside of here that it's starting to dilute it. Like if I take my finger and I kind of rub, you can see the, the soot <coughs> that's coming out clearly because of the, uh, the thing is doing its job. The all-purpose cleaner or the wheel cleaner, whatever I'm using, I'm not sure, but wheel cleaner would be obviously ideal, but all-purpose cleaner will work too. So. If it doesn't get all of it off, I'll just, you know, scrub it, no big deal. So I went and grabbed the uh, hose, and basically we have this, I don't know what this, this nozzle is for like a little electric power washer we have. Uh, <clears throat> but what I'm gonna do is take this, this is the foam gun, like, uh, hose I was talking about, and I'm basically gonna screw it on here, thread it on really quick. There we go, thread it on. So it, the cool thing about this is, obviously like normal hoses, there's no water gonna come out. Not to mention, I'd be able to put the foam gun on there when I need to. So I'm gonna turn the water on, get some little bit of water in my little wash bucket, and then start washing the inside of these barrels. Before I start washing these barrels, I'm not sure if you could tell, but it's a lot cleaner than it was. Like if I rub my hand in here, you'll see all the soot moving around and all the brake dust. <clears throat> Even on here, this was like, really really brown like just like that one and now it's you know getting cleaned up it's going to take a little bit of um, elbow grease to get it all out but i'm gonna get it done so the hose is here where's the hose at right here the water's on you can't even hear it there's no running water and obviously there it goes so i'm gonna get this filled up a little bit this is from like an old like I think I washed my uh, GTR the other day in that video and I didn't get to fully get all the soap and water out. But this is for the wheels, so I'm not too concerned about it. So to start here, I have my bucket right next to me right here. You can't see it on video, but I'm gonna spray this little brush down. Well, actually I should have, I'm gonna put it in my water first and then I'm gonna spray it down. And then I'm gonna go inside of here and scrub. And then after that, I'm gonna use the actual um, brush or actual pad, but you can see <clears throat> it's coming right out. All this stuff. I mean, it's it's simple brake dust. It should all come out. It might have a little, little a couple little nicks in it, but it's a barrel of the wheel. I'm not too concerned about it. So it's starting to dry off over here. I'm gonna dip it back in my bucket and go around. But I'm gonna fast forward this part until I'm done scrubbing. And I'm gonna rinse it off and show you the big difference it's gonna make just by doing this. So this is this was the biggest con uh, concern for me because I didn't want the inside of the barrels being dirty like this at all times because once they're on the car, it's a real pain to clean inside of here. So I'm gonna get ceramic coating all inside of here and the face of the wheel just so it's easier to rinse it off once it's uh, on the car. And you can see for the most part, I got it out. There's some spots inside of like right here like some deep, deep, deep dirt. I mean, I hope I can get it out. Um, <clears throat> some polishing will might, might get that out, but I'm gonna quickly do all four wheels over here. Like I gotta do this wheel right here, obviously all the rest of the other wheels. And once I do all of them, I'll probably put another layer of uh, all-purpose cleaner or wheel cleaner on it and just hope it uh, gets all this out. If not, I have that metal polish I showed you in the beginning of the video and I'll get most of it out. But let me fast forward all this. The wheels aren't really getting that clean. I don't know if they're oxidized or just really th thick brake dust. I think polishing will get it off, but if it doesn't, it's inside. So I'm not too mad, especially with the bead locks, you won't see it. The fronts are definitely getting there though, but I'm gonna spray another coat and see if that makes a difference. If not, I'm gonna get to polishing 
Well, actually, I'm gonna get to doing the front, and after I do the front, I'm gonna get to polishing the inside of the barrels and see how that goes. I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for about 10 minutes. Maybe it'll make a difference, maybe not, but I think polishing will definitely make a difference. So let's let that sit. So that second coat didn't really make that big of a difference as I, as I kind of expected, but if I polish it, it'll, uh, it should make a bigger difference. Plus that's a barrel of the wheel, I'm not that concerned. I just don't want it to look brown. So, I mean, that's, that kind of concerns me on the, the beadlock part here. You can't, you can't really see it. Let me put the camera back down. As you see there, the beadlock wheels are really dirty, but <clears throat> on the car, they're so close to the brake rotor, you can't really see the inside as much, especially if you see it's rounded. So you can't really see it that much, but the front are getting there. There's still some, you know, grit down here. Gotta get out. I'm gonna wash the fronts really quick, which are super easy because they're not bad. They just need a polish. And then I'm gonna go and uh, dry them off. And then get to <clears throat> get to polishing, but like I said, not too concerned. They're definitely gonna look a lot better than they were, and they're gonna be protected with ceramic coating. So it's my biggest thing. As you see here, the, like it's like you really don't see the barrel like that. So I'm not that concerned with it. So there's a, it's a little bit left in the bottle. I'm gonna quickly rinse it. And basically, not, it's not gonna need it that much, like I said. So just a quick, you know, a little bit on the face, a little bit on the lip of the wheel. Not that much, just enough for me to get in there with a little brush and, uh, you know, get what I need to get done. The backs look really good. It's funny because the Front of the wheel here is purple, and the back wheels, the inside of the barrel is dirty, and it's really bad. So it's weird how it is. Like as you see, that's black and that's purple. Uh, I'm gonna call it Weld Forged or Weld Racing and ask them, you know, what's up with that. Um, it's not sponsored by Weld, so I don't know why they look like that. Um, but <clears throat> I have this little spray thing by Jack Swax. They sell it. I forgot what it's called. Some kind of um, little like air tool, and it will spray all the water out of. You know all these areas or i'll grab my compressor line and i'll run my compressor over here and quickly rinse all the water out because I'm pretty sure over here somewhere with all the little mess i got i bought yeah here it is i bought a little you know air not not that bottom well no not that i bought an actual not my fittings here it is i bought something to connect to my uh <clears throat> my airlines, but I got to attach one of these and some of that tape that you've said, you know, bought some of it. Yeah. Some of the Teflon tape and basically you'll rinse the wheels off really quick. This is what I use for like, if I rinse my car off, I'll go spray it inside of the door jams in the engine bay area. So it'll quickly rinse off. So when I'm driving, it doesn't just streak out, but let me get this quickly attached and then I'll uh, <clears throat> show you guys how quick I'll spray everything off. So I quickly got it on here. You see I put the Teflon tape in there. That's so no air leaks out. It's some cheap tool. I, think I got it from like Menards. Um, it'll it connect to my airline here. So I'll pull it off my lift and quickly connect it in here. So you can't really tell and it's really loud in here because I'm letting the air out of my compressor. I was supposed to put this fitting on here just so it fits my new, uh, my new obviously connectors. Um, I was supposed to put this on, so I got to release the air because I don't want to obviously, you know, let all that air pressure out. I'm just gonna, I don't know what it's gonna do. So for safety reasons, I'm letting all the air out of my compressor. So all that work for me just to put this on, the wheels, it's probably been around 20 minutes. The wheels are probably already dry. All that work for nothing. So that's that. I'm just gonna quickly do this and if the wheels have any more water on it, I'll uh, dry them off. And this is the reason my tools and my crap is everywhere is because this little things like this takes forever. I guess, 
I'm such a dummy that I didn't realize that there's different connectors and different things that go on. I thought it was gonna be a lot easier than, uh, than I, you know, anticipated obviously, but there's a, my, I'll, I'll grab the tool out and show you what I'm talking about really quick. It's basically a little like air tool, like. It's pretty strong. I just didn't want to, like I have all this crap here. My microfiber, these are like my microfibers I cleaned my wheels with. So don't think I'm gonna hit the paint with that. But the extension cords are everywhere and just the garage is a whole mess. So I just figured I'd do more an efficient thing than to put that on so I can uh, do it all the time. Not have to pull this out, pull the extension cord out all the time. But I mean, I'm obviously blessed to have an air compressor in my garage and a lift and everything. So that's easier for me. But if you guys want, <coughs> Jack Swax, I believe still sells these, these uh, see, portable car and bike dry, uh, dryer. So they're pretty sweet. It works really efficiently. If you can just extend the extension cord or like I have a extension here somewhere that I was gonna put on the ceiling that like obviously drops down and I can quickly drop it down, pull it outside, rinse the car off and you know, put the extension cord right back up where it belongs. But let me quickly get this all organized this away. The air compressor needs to put get more air in it. So once that all, that's all situated, I'll get back to the wheels. Sorry for all this little, you know, misunderstanding, mishappening, whatever this is. So I finally <clears throat> got the air compressor air in it. And uh, here's the basic little gun tool. Like this is strong. Like you can probably hear on the side of the camera when I spray it over here. Watch this, how I'm gonna spray these wheels off really quick. It's honestly super, 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 super easy to dry a car off with this thing. Like you can honestly dry the whole car off if it's ceramic coated properly, because all the ceramic coat is gonna leave is little specks of water here and there. So let me quickly do it real quick. Let me quickly do it really quick. Jesus, my English. All right, so I'm gonna quickly dry off all these wheels and then I'll get the metal polish out. So I got all the wheels here dried. I put a little bit of a tape line on these wheels just so when I clean them off, I'll see if I see a huge difference or not. Uh, I'm definitely gonna see a difference. I'm hoping that brownish stuff comes off the wheels, the extra brake. If it doesn't, no big deal, but if it does, obviously perfect. But uh, basically I have this Jax Wax, uh, J uh, ah. Jack's metal polish is basically for chrome and stuff like that. Metal polish is the quickest and easiest product to shine aluminum, billet, brass, copper, chrome, and stainless steel in the world. So it's good stuff. I've used it before on wheels that I was uh, selling, weld wheels, and I have the ceramic coating right there. I don't, honestly, I don't know why I brought it right next to me. I'll set it to the side real quick. I'm gonna get using this uh, <clears throat> applicator pad because I don't have an actual one. I don't want to use a microfiber because it's such a large area. So I'm gonna get to doing that. I'm gonna set the camera up and do a pretty long fast forwarding video just cause it's gonna take a while. So I've been polishing for about, I don't know, five minutes now. Um, you can see it's a little bit shinier in here. I still have to wipe all this out. There's a lot of grit, like I said, old caked up brake dust. And it's like over here is where I had it covered off. So you can see basically from here to here, it was covered. And you know, it's shiny right here, shiny right here and all this soot right here, but it's taking a lot of elbow grease and a lot of, uh, if you look at this towel right here, I mean, the wheels look clean for the most part, but like when you start cleaning them, this is what's really coming out of it. So. I'm really, really, really not looking forward to doing that wheel. Uh, I'm trying to think of a way I could, you know, scrub these without, you know, damaging them, but more than a microfiber. Obviously, I don't want to have to sit here and do this for like three, four hours, but I'm gonna get this, uh, these wheels done and the camera is fast forward, kind of a weird mount right there. So I guess let's try to do this for the next few hours or however long it's gonna take. So far, this is how it looks on the wheel that I've uh, done most of the work on it. It's been about 25 minutes doing this wheel and then this one's still, you know, the dirtiness. But if you look deep inside, you'll still see a little bit. Um, I, I'm not really pressed about stuff like that. Um, 
I mean, I think it kind of is annoying that it looks like that, but for the most part, it looks good. This is inside of the barrel, so it's not that big of a deal as long as it's somewhat shiny and doesn't have black soot everywhere like that wheel does. And the front of the wheels look good. So uh, I'm gonna try to polish this around one more time. These towels are getting filthy, which I'm gonna throw away anyways, but like you don't see it. I mean, you might see a little bit, but this is this stuff is like really, really dark and black and embedded. So I gotta really, I cut up a polishing pad and it's a little more firm. So hopefully it'll, uh, you know, cut it up a little bit more. I've been working on these things for so long now. And I mean, it's all this stuff is coming out, but it takes so much time. Um, these obviously look a little bit better than they were. I think I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I might just have my detailer, Hadir, to come here at Reflect Detailing and see if he can try to help me make these a little more, uh, you know, polished. Because I mean, I'm putting on all this work and I'm gonna put the ceramic coating on. I don't want to, you know, just throw a ceramic coating over some blemishes or uh, stuff that I can get out or have Hadir get out with his polisher because hand polishing this is taking forever. I mean, I've been doing this for like, two hours now it might seem like it wasn't that long but it's been a while so i'm gonna hit him up see if he can come uh this video might delay a few days or maybe it's gonna be tomorrow morning because right now it's like two in the morning but i'll hit you guys up then here my detailer got here he got all his pads out that pad is supposed to be blue but it's black now because he started without me but i do you want to explain what you're gonna do and you know how it's better to polish with a strong polisher or have a detailer come out and do something like this uh as far as like the as far as doing instead of doing it by hand how that's gonna make oh, a difference rather than well, me so most metals can be done by hand but if you look at these wheels they're like really really bad so with the machine you're obviously gonna get more rotations in my hand right or more movement in my hand so you're gonna cut quicker you're gonna you can obviously see from the pad you pull out a lot more right so that's all black I, obviously you guys saw when i did it myself it was black he started to do inside of here you can kind of see it's more chrome and here too versus oxidation or oxidized like this so you can see how quick he did this how long were you doing that for oh that was like a minute like a minute so i mean there's four wheels here he'll probably do the, all the wheels in like 20 minutes so that'll make the biggest difference and uh if you need any work hit him up it's at reflect detailing he's on facebook too he's super slammed but he'll uh he'll make room for you if you need anything done so i'm gonna do a little time lapse and we're gonna see how it comes out All right, I'm uh, currently ceramic coating these wheels here. Hadir over here with like detailing was able to get these for the most part cleaned. Um, they're a lot better than they were. They're a lot, a lot, a lot, like a lot of corrosion in there. So they came out pretty nice. This one came out really sweet too. Um, I still have to do like in here, these little areas, but for the most part, when you're looking at the wheel out here, I mean, you can see that shine back there, that reflection, but came out really nice they were like brown before so i'm gonna get to ceramic coating these big thanks to hadir over here hit him up i'll put his num his name and number in the description so hit him up if you need any detailing but besides that we'll get back to ceramic coating those wheels hadir just got out of here and i'm currently putting a second coat on the wheels i put the second coat on i didn't film it or anything because I already filmed the first part of it, putting it on, so there's no need to see it's the exact same process. So I'm spilling my ceramic coating. But I uh, put the second coat on. I'm gonna let it sit for probably 24 to 48 hours. I'm not gonna put it on the car for a while, but probably another like week or so. The car's gonna get fully ceramic coated and polished before I even put these on. So these are gonna get ceramic coated. They should do really well in the car. I also did the um, center caps. Like I said, I don't know what's wrong with that one, but I guess it's gonna match the purplish look you're not really gonna see that look like that because it's that's direct light so like an indirect light like for instance like this when we're on the car you're not gonna see the purple as much it's gonna look black see that wheel kind of looks black right now versus in direct light it looks like that but that's how it's gonna look because it's on the car that way but these barrels Hadir did his best job with these you, you really can't do much when there's 
caked up brake dust that kind of corroded the wheel. But it, he did as best he could. It looks great on the inside. So, I mean, you're not gonna see much because the rotor is gonna be there, the brake caliper. But I gotta clean up in here. I have to get all in here. And then I'm gonna ceramic coat these separately. I waited a half hour between coats or like 45 minutes. So they got full connection. I just didn't want to do those and then try to clean these and then go back to doing those. And because you can't let the ceramics sit too long. But basically these wheels are gonna get cleaned and I'm gonna quickly film that. I don't want to have too much video. I know this video is already like a half hour long um, so far in the video. I don't want to have too long of a video, but this process takes time and I want to explain it thoroughly. And I want to, you know, have you guys understand how this works and why it's such a beneficial thing to do. But sorry the video is so long, but it's an in-depth vi in depth video. And that's how I usually do my car cleaning and ceramic coating videos. But these products are all through Jack's Wax, um, jackswax.com. I'll leave my code for 15% off. It's SINLIFE2020 right down here. So SINLIFE2020 for 15% off at jackswax.com. I got most, mostly all the, you know, bad, bad look of the wheel off, like the brownish. But the problem is with these bead locks, uh, there's like screws inside of here, so I can't get deep in there. And honestly, I'm not too concerned with that. My main thing, the main reason I took these off was because of the barrels looked brown and uh, the front of the wheels are gonna be super hard to clean. So took them off. I'm gonna basically try to get in here. If I don't, no big deal. I'm gonna sh spray Shield Prep, which is like a pre-ceramic coating spray from Jack's Wax and basically clean up all the little dirt I can and basically ceramic coat over as much as I can. Um, the barrels, like I said, are the biggest concern because before they looked, you know, brown as basically like that. And now they're like that. So that's the biggest thing is getting a thick coat inside of there and able to, you know, basically wash off any brake dust that gets in there in the future. But that wheel looks like that, you know, shiny for the most part, a little bit dusty, but if you go to this wheel here, you know, you'll see what I'm talking about. These are real brown and dirty. So I'm gonna try to clean up that wheel a little bit more, but there's only so much you can do. I'm gonna put a little bit of polish on like a little brush and uh, get to working a little bit more and scrubbing. But that's basically as much as I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, you know, finish recording as much as I'm gonna do here and here, and I'm gonna get to ceramic coating. And then video is basically gonna end, but I wanna, you know, obviously get everything done and finish the video off there. See that nice shine on them, but there's still, you know, dirt in there. There's nothing really that I can do about that unless I want to take the bead off and I don't want to do that. But for racing wheels, they look sweet. Nice little shiny barrel on the inside. They're all ceramic coated. All four of them are ceramic coated and the center caps are ceramic coated as well. That's basically that. I'm going to basically finish off the ceramic coating and that's going to be basically the end of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this clip and these, uh, this long, long, long video. One of the longest videos I've made this year. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys need any products, jackswax.com, code SINLIFE2020. But yeah, this is a you know a huge process for me. This has been like two or three days. And honestly, I just want it to look good. Um, the guy who had the wheels offered me a newer set for, you know, actually quite a bit more money. I just figured it'd be easier just to clean these up. Honestly, these look good for the money I paid. Um, I paid... You know, I'm not gonna say the exact figure, but I paid, let's just say I paid more than two thirds or actually more than three fourths of what they are in brand new. And uh, I think I'm, I'm really happy with them rather than me paying, you know, a brand new price. They have brand new tires on them. They're sweet. They look good. They're gonna look good on the car. They're, the brake dust on the car is not gonna have a bigger issue anymore now that they're all clean. Yeah, my garage is a huge mess. That's basically gonna end this off. Uh, my Instagram is at sinister underscore lifestyle. My uh, Facebook is Sin Life, and you know I want to start making T-shirts with you know the GTR, the uh, CTSV, the ZL1, any previous cars I've had. Nice T-shirts. Let me know if you'd buy a T-shirt. Comment below if you guys want me to do that. But besides that, I'm out of here. Give this video a like, and if you haven't already and you're watching all these videos, subscribe now.